In our last video, we dealt with small signal equivalent circuits. Now we want to put the theory we have learned into practice with the help of an example. Let's have a look at this example of a transistor amplifier with a MOSFET. To derive the small signal equivalent circuit for this example, we replace every component with its small signal representation. First of all, we replace the resistors, which is easy, as they remain resistors. Secondly, we replace all constant current and voltage sources by their inner ideal resistances. These arrows, which are named with Vs, symbolize a voltage source. In our circuit, we only have two constant voltage sources, the supply voltage and the DC part of the input voltage Vin. We replace these voltage sources by a short. The AC part of the input voltage, which is the small signal we want to amplify, remains. As a next step, we replace the MOSFET by its small signal equivalent circuit. Actually, now we are already finished with our small signal equivalent circuit, but we redraw it a little bit to make it clearer for the calculation. For the voltage gain, we are interested in the ratio of V out to V in. To get this relation, we consider Kirchhoff's law and derive the node equation at node 1. As the drained current is zero, we get Gm times V in plus V out over RDS plus V out over RD. In this equation, our unknowns are V in and V out. Hence, we reformulate this equation. The voltage relation between V out and V in is consequently minus Gm times 1 over 1 over RDS plus 1 over RD which equates minus Gm times RDS parallel connected to RD. RDS and Gm can be calculated by formulating the derivative. This was an example to demonstrate the general procedure of creating and calculating small signal equivalent circuit diagrams. Try doing it yourself with this example of another transistor amplifier. You can find the solution for the example in the video description. I'm Sabrina with the Institute of Electronics. I hope you have learned something today, but anyways, thanks for watching. For the interested viewer, we highly recommend The Art of Electronics by Horowitz and Hill and for our German-speaking viewers, Elektronische Schaltungstechnik, written by members of our institute.